Hello and welcome to our watercolor journey. Sometimes when we paint, we can get Bob Ross's happy accidents. In this demo, Heinrich will show you what you can do with one such accident. All the materials used are listed in the description below. So gear up and come paint with us. The Saunders paper is taped with masking tape to create a nice white border. The block is at a 45 degree angle, ready for lots of water. Heinrich uses his new Artmate number no. 3 hockey brush to wet the paper. He wets it about two thirds down to the create a horizon line on the lower part of the picture plane. On the palette, we have Prussian Blue by Windsor & Newton and Payne's Grey Blue by Schmincke. First up is the Prussian Blue and the Barbara 1 inch flat brush. He paints in lines as he wants to create a graduated wash where the paint is dark at the top and gradually becomes lighter towards the horizon. The paper dried a bit fast, so he sprays it with a spray bottle to help the paint move. The paper is at an angle, so it flows downwards. Now he tilts the paper to help with the flow. Keep an eye on that stray line of water on the right. Later you will see what happens to it. Here he uses the tip of the flat brush and a strong mix of Payne's Grey Blue to paint the first layer of the trees in the background. It looks very stark and in your face at the moment, but remember that it dries back a lot, so don't be afraid to use strong pigments. He varies the pigment strength on some of the tree shapes to create dimension in the tree line. He tilts the paper upside down to let the darker paint flow into the skyline. He keeps adding some more pigment so that there's more paint available to flow into the skyline. He sprays the paint again to help with the flow.
The paper is a bit too wet, so let's see what happens with the salt. On the left hand side, the paint has dried a lot faster than in the middle. You can see the salt lying on top of the tree. Towards the middle, the paper is very wet. You can see the dark spots where the salt fell into the water. If it makes tiny air bubbles, the salt is working. Remove all the salt residue once the painting is dry. You can see here how the different pigment strengths and the very dryness of the paper influence the reaction of the salt. He now uses the flat brush to add the foreground. He loads the brush and paints straight lines across the paper. This is a synthetic brush and for some reason it immediately unloaded all the paint the moment it touched the paper. At first it seemed that this is going to be a major disaster, but then it created this magnificent dry brush effect, so Heinrich kept going with it to see what would happen. The hard line didn't budge though. He loaded the brush and tried again, but the results were the same. A natural hair brush would keep the paint flowing much more evenly, so the effect might be quite different if you use a different brush. He decided to leave it like that and let it dry again, as the dry brush created a beautiful snow-covered look. Now, what to do with that hard line? He used an Art Secret number no. 6 flat brush, the same width as the waterline, and paints grey blue to paint a happy tree. Then he uses the Barbara number no. 1 rigger to paint the branches. Placing the tip of the rigger on the trunk and then gently pulling away from the trunk while slightly lifting the brush. In this way the branches are a bit thicker at the bottom and end in a thin tip. To create the illusion of roundness in the tree he paints some of the branches on the front of the tree trunk. He grounds the tree with a few grasses. He uses the patterns in the salt to add a bit more details to the trees in the background. These should really just be a few hints of trunks and branches. Keep it simple and use the salt to your advantage.
To establish the middle ground, he paints a few grasses on the shoreline of the small lake. He adds shape to the bear tree by extending some branches and adding a few more. He balances the painting by adding grasses and a shrub-like tree in the left corner. He uses Dr. P. H. Martin's Bleed Proof White to add snow and highlights. This brings the tree to life and helps to add interest. Adding the white also helps to create contrast and dimension. He uses a glass pen and some of the paint's grey blue to sign the painting. And that's how you create a happy accident. Thank you for watching. Vaya con Dios.